Hi everyone. Happy Summer Sunday. And thank you for going on this journey with me in June for our Mind Renovation Devotion. Um, I know many of you, I'm so thankful, have either purchased a copy on Amazon, maybe picked one up at church or different places. You can download a version right now for only $1.99, or if you're on um, Amazon Unlimited, Kindle Unlimited, it's free. So you can download that. You also can get a free sample that has uh, the in introduction and some of the first free chapters, so you can look at it. Thank you, everyone, that's coming on. It's so great to see you, and we, we are actually entering day one. We went over yesterday, phase one of this all this week is demolition week, so yay for demo day. So we've started demolition, and we are now going into day one of our mind renovation. Thank you. Hi, everyone that's coming on. It's so great to see you. We're starting our, today is day one, and before you can start your demolition, there is something really important that has to happen before you can go in there and start tearing stuff down. My house that, that we, my husband and I, Dwayne, we have liked to flip homes, and it's been a lot of fun for me reno, renovating them. But before I could go in, I could have all these great ideas of what I wanted things to look like. But before that could happen, there was one thing that was really important. I had to have ownership. I had to be able to have the title, to have to take possession of the property. It's right there where I have a friend right now who's selling a house and she's closing on Thursday. So right now, it's still her house. It's not sold until that person signs on the title and gives the ownership over to the other person. That's number one. This is the most important thing with a mind renovation is who owns your mind? And then who is in, who is in stewarding your mind? Because there are these squatters who want to come and live and take over. What do squatters do? They come in uninhabited places, sneak in uninhabited places that aren't being stewarded and try to, to know, just play it quiet so no one finds out that they're there. Well, day one today is who's squatting in your head? So before we can start demolition, number one, we have to validate ownership. I could not believe when I started researching this, I found an article in the new in the LA Times that talked about a man who had rightfully inherited his father's Southern California townhouse. And it was about five hours away. So at first, he would go every weekend, check on it, make sure everything was okay. And then, because it was so far away, it got to where maybe he'd go twice a year, once a year. And then, all of a sudden, when he decided he was going to maybe move into it or do something with it, he had not known squatters had moved into his house and had been living there. They not only moved in, they changed the locks and they were going to HOA or home, you know, if you don't know what that is, that's our home ownership associations. They were actually attending HOA meetings thinking their vote counted even though they had no legal right to even live there. Well, if you know anything about the law, it, it, the longer a squatter lives in some place, the stronger their right is to stay there, especially in uh, the state of California. And you can see that with the squatters and strongholds and things in our mind, the longer something is allowed to occupy, it thinks that it, the, the stronger the roots, it thinks that it has more of a right to be there. But we have good news. Um, and that's our, our verse for today is 1 Corinthians 2, 16. And I'm going to read it in the Amplified says, For who has known the mind and purposes of the Lord so as to instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ to be guided by his thoughts and purposes. The word for have there in the Greek is the word, you're not going to believe this. Are you ready? Echo. But we echo the mind of Christ. Isn't that an amazing promise? 
This is our inheritance. This is what we're called to shine like a light, like his kingdom. We echo. That word echo means to have hold of, like in the hand, a sense of wearing, to have possession of the mind, to hold fast, to keep, to regard, and to consider. But we, yes, all these random rogue squatting thoughts try to come and occupy our mind. But no, we have the mind of Christ. What did Jesus do? His mind met fear with faith. His mind met depression and doubt with with joy and the purpose set before him. His mind met lack with God's abundance, with heaven's resource. His mind met offense with forgiveness And that is our inheritance. But we have the mind of Christ. What a, such, so, such a beautiful promise. So my question for you today is, how is the shape of your mind, before we can start demolition and start removing and remodeling, what do you need to evict? Maybe it's someone who's been living rent-free, the memories that you, it could be from middle school, that you carry around someone, maybe they're nagging what they said about you, what what they made, how you, they made you think or feel, and you're still letting them live rent free in your mind. Well, you know what? Our renovating thought for today is: it's my responsibility to manage the property of my mind. Yes, we have given uh, the ownership of our minds over to Jesus. And that's what we want to make sure has happened that before we can, that the title belongs to him. But now he's coming to you and say, I've made you the steward. I've made you the property manager. And, and you are going to line up with my thoughts. And all of these rogue, evil thoughts that try to take over, they have no right. We are going to press a claim and that's what that that's our action for today. Whenever those thoughts, just like th- this man who had to uh, in LA, who had to take back the property that was his, you have to legally press a claim and prove the ownership of who owns this property. So today, in the name of Jesus, we are pressing a claim that Jesus owns your mind. Jesus owns my mind. If you've given ownership of it over to him, that all of these rogue things, all of these squatters, all of these these memories, these thoughts and these feelings, they cannot stay. They have no right. So we we're, we're this is the first step in renovation. Maybe you've seen shows where they go in and people are sleeping everywhere in the house and they can't even start demo because they've got to kick out the the things, maybe wild raccoons and lots of rats. I've seen lots of rodents. Yeah. No, they don't belong in there and they don't belong up here. All those things running around. So today we are taking back. Who's the boss? You're the boss. You get to say what goes on up here. So my question for you is, are your thoughts controlling you or are you in charge of your thoughts? And you are telling them, no, you're going to think like Jesus. You're going, your, my thoughts look like the kingdom. My thoughts look like peace. My thoughts look like love. My thoughts look like heaven on earth. And everything else, I am evicting you. You're not going to be able to live here rent free. Amen? So the challenge is maybe get your journal, maybe write down um, some of those things of maybe you can tell me in the comments, what are those things that today that you're evicting out of your mind? Maybe it's shame. Maybe it's guilt of things that have been all, they're all from the past. The devil brings up. They don't belong in your mind. What write write down? What are those things that you need to evict out of your mind? In, in, in Jesus' name. So, I have a gift for you. If you would like, I have memory, um, a PDF that has memory cards for each day. And if you email, and I'll put it, uh, I'll put it there in the comments, my mind reno. My mind R E N O at gmail.com. I'll send you the PDF and you can print them out on cardstock and you can have these verses so that you know the Word of God. And whenever those thoughts try to speak back to you, you can say, Uh uh-uh, uh, I have authority and I am taking back and taking possession of my thoughts. You, I have the mind of Christ. You have a beautiful mind.
In your mind right now, I just believe peace is coming. People who've been fighting depression and anxiety and, and, and all these crazy thoughts right now, just give it back to Jesus. Validate the ownership that it belongs to the kingdom of heaven and not to these rogue squatters that are trying to take over. Amen? Yes. Well, day one, um, right, thank you for your comments. Tell me what thoughts you're evicting and not letting live rent-free in your mind anymore. And I can't wait to see you tomorrow. Um, email someone or Facebook, tag them, send this, share this link with someone that you know needs to go on this journey with us. Maybe you can send it to their inbox or tag them so that they know what we're doing. And uh, also don't forget on Kindle and Amazon, you can download your own copy. There's lots of things in there and quotes that I don't have time to go over that you will love. Also, lots of questions you can journal about and, and you could have a, a Bible study with. So, I love you and I'll see you tomorrow.